Now, if you want to go retro and you have the feeling you have a camera, but you don't want to use tape, right? So this time we go 100% full digital. And what they use is a 1080 camera. It's going to be using um, SD card and HDMI output, the pictures, record, and even count with an external microphone as an extra. So let's take a look at this camera right now. How are we doing, everyone? This is Dario from Media Box CNT. And here we got this camera. So let me change. We can put the top camera in this. Let's take a look. All right. So first, what we get with this camera? I want to show you that first. So we get the two manuals, one for the camera, one for the microphone. Two batteries, one's already installed. HDMI cable, two charger camera, and two charge also the microphone and remote control and your charger. I'm going to remove the microphone. So the microphone, you just charge it from here. That's the cable to plug it into the mic. And the nice thing, you can turn it off, turn it on, and change the decibels. All right, so if there's a lot of wind, maybe you want to minus. Well, we have minus 10. And if you need more value, you go minus 20. And it's rechargeable. That's a big plus. That comes with the camera. Now, the camera also has a microphone. So right in the front, we got the lens. We can see uh, the navigation. This is a 16X running battery. You have the quarter and so two types of uh, tripod you can install. Right below, you can install your memory, SD card, and in this case, I got 64 gig. Now, your battery, all right? And to charge it, you charge it from the back. That's where you charge it. That's your output, HDMI, and right over here is where you're going to connect in your mic. And that will be this mic, or I guess any other mic you want to put it in. Right over here, we have the light. When you turn it on, you start recording, start blinking blue. The famous record button. Now, this one is to take photo. That's why it's called photo. And this is your zoom. Now, here, it feels real good to hold the camera. See, guess a nice, easy way to work. I guess it's, you know, the, the old way, yeah, more stable to hold in a phone. As soon as you open the camera, it should come on. See, as soon as I turn it on, the camera comes on. And as I said, we get this screen right there. So we can see right over here, they give me a lot of information. Right now, it's set to camera mode. And I can change the modes right over here. We can set, uh, turn it off from here, and we can turn on also the night vision, the mode, so we can switch between configuration, I'll take a picture, and record and play. Menu, up and down to execute, but you can just use it. It's attached to screen. So right over here, if we hit menu, go this way. If we have menu, we can have uh, different configurations here. We can put the full HT. We can put effects. You can set up the ISO device. There's a lot of configuration you can see here. You can keep effect, white balance, but I set everything. Everything is set in automatic mode. So it's set to record. So if I press here, it will start recording one more time. And you see the blue line there is blinking. All right. To change mode, I'm going to press once again. And now that will be in the picture mode. And here they give you all the things activated, right? It's activated. You can move it. And it show me how many megapixels, everything. Everything is already set. So if I press here, see, automatically take the picture. I'm going to press one more time. And that's the play mode. So if I have any video here, we can press here. And we can review, delete, and any photos or any uh, videos you got. And the next mode is the configuration. You can send the language. You can say how to record, how you want the date to be in print. See, you set the date. So and it has a lot of uh, the output. If you are in the United States, you want to make sure you set it to 60 hertz. If you want to format the memory card, you just format right there. And if you want as default, 
you want the camera first or you want the video as a default. So in case, my case, I want the video right first, but you can change that too. Let's go back. And if I press one more time, you see here now we got the setup playback and we can go on the setup and that's what we saw before. And then each one of these things too, you can go and config that as well too. See menu, I can set how you want the angle, 5 megapixels, a camera, uh, it takes many pictures, and you can set the timer, I saw the timer right there, so you can set the timer, 2 seconds, 3 seconds, 10 second timer, so each part of the camera has a different configuration. And it was real good. I think it's a camera, a good camera for, I call it level entry. It records real good. Just make sure when you're going to be recording with this camera, do not go crazy and trying to move, you know, because then the picture is going to go everywhere. So when you record with this, make sure you just move it slow and you'll get a nice shot. But if you're going to try to go this way, and it's going to go crazy. And it, anyway, in any camera, you don't want to pan. Like, and technically, if you're going to pan, you need to turn it off, boot the camera, turn it back again. And then if you want to record right there, turn it off and turn it on. If not, everybody's going to get sick. And normally, people tend to do that, move that, you know, with any camera, anyway. But the, with this one in particular, I will not go that either. So move it slow, and it will give you a nice recording. It records all digital. Then you can pull the memory out and review it around your computer. Now, to get more information on this nice camera, I, again, it's just a weird feeling. Right? Get back to that, all this cool type of camera. I think if people see you in the, in the street, they say, what the hell this guy is doing? It's still recording with tape, but it's all digital now. All right, uh, check the link below. Thank you.